as we know vanchana didi uh, she has been a very uh, consistent volunteer with all of us after her uh, doctoral degree in uh, condensed matter physics from iit delhi she has been working as an associate professor of physics at indraprastha engineering college gaziabad uh, uttar pradesh and she has been involved in the teaching learning process in higher education for more than 20 years she has published a number of uh, research publications in high impact journals in the core domain of nanomagnetism and since the last more than 8 years she has been involved in the universal human values active member of the uhp cell aket you like now and it has been uh, presenting the content in the online and offline mode in very many occasions with this brief introduction i welcome vanchana didi for the sharing uh, with the indicators given in the slides over to didi thank you ji thank you bhaiya namaste to everyone and this is an opportunity for me to give my sharing so i start with my brief introduction um bhai i has already mentioned i am vanchana singh and uh, the first time i was introduced to the content of uhv was way back in 2009 10 when there was a, a one day uh, kind of introductory workshop within our own college that is indraprastha engineering college that was the first time when the content in some way came to us but at that time from the college those who were taking up humanities subject especially english professional communication they were asked to take it forward and my subject being physics i was just part of that one day program and then um, i was busy taking up my own technical content with the students over years so just to briefly introduce uh, my family along with my brief introduction so uh, i have two daughters my husband my mother in law we all live together and going to college and coming back to home and doing household chores that was happening for a long time and within the college those who could take it further from 2010 onwards of them two of my colleagues uh, dr manishi mishra and dr upasna mishra we used to sit together and discuss so these discussions related to uhv were happening whatever little inputs they could give me and through those discussions i had this little thing in me that whatever content is there is very relevant relevant to our living relevant to our being and then by the end of 2017 though it was already introduced as a credit course for the students and all i was only in touch with the content in the sense that we had those little discussions as colleagues but by the end of 2017 we had a workshop in our own college so i was involved in the preparation of that workshop and i found it an opportunity for myself where i could participate as a full fledged participant and by chance my first workshop was with gopal bhai only so he was there 
to share the content and those eight days because at that point of time the workshops used to be in that eight day format so within me the acceptance was already there with the content but i had not spent that time before that but those eight days i could get through the content and i could relate a lot to the living to the being of an individual and especially for myself i could find it very very relatable meaningful each and every proposal coming to me and this process of self exploration i could really connect to myself to this and that that was the beginning of this journey which i'm trying to continue within me so with that first workshop this initial commitment of getting to verify the proposals for myself i could make for myself and very soon i could get chances those times the workshops used to be held during winter and summer breaks so the moment the next break time came i i got a chance to be part of another set of workshops one workshop as participant another workshop as just facilit uh, facilitating the administ the other associated works while sitting in the workshop hall coordinating little things and all this and that's how the journey began and with april 2020 the covid times gave me ample amount of opportunity to reflect with sharing of the content in the online mode of the workshop and that was a huge opportunity for me and that's where this journey started intensifying within me prior to that it was with gaps which means that we used to participate in the workshops during those times when there was academically lean activity durations so there were gaps in between when we were busy with the semesters and since other people were taking the content in the classrooms i was taking my own technical subject but i was going through the workshops as and when possible and it was helping me in taking up my journey but with april 22 2020 that is the covid times this sharing of content that became an integral part and that's how we started connecting and we can see a lot of us being connected in that online mode and the first time this work this exercise 1 and 2 i could go through it in the online mode only because for doing this exercise 1 and 2 earlier one has to spend a lot of time going to kanpur but i was not getting that time because my children were very young at that point of time so even though i wanted but i could not go at that point of time but then in the online mode for the very first time when i started with this exercise 1 and 2 i could see that whatever i was right now trying to explore i can go much more deeper that was the first time when i was introduced so sharing my experience with each exercise starting from the first time this exercise 1 was introduced to me that is way back in i think july or june 2020 onwards july i suppose july 2020 onwards this was the first time this exercise one i was introduced to so the very first step 
observing our own imagination. Though appeared very simple to begin with, because with a number of workshops, we were again and again getting those proposals and we were trying to reflect on it. But early morning when we used to connect and looking at our own imagination without any kind of reaction, to begin with, it was really difficult because the moment I started looking at my imagination, something or the other, I started justifying for it, whatever. So this was very important to observe the imagination and just observe. And it took time. It took time for me to just observe the imagination. Now that it is the 10th time we are looking at this exercise as a part of the morning session, I could see within myself that this step one is strengthening day by day. It is not that every moment I am able to observe my imagination, but what I am able to make out is that this duration is increasing and I am able to observe what is going on within me for a much longer time now and I can see it with very little reactions. That is what I could say for myself and I can make out what is naturally acceptable to me quite a number of times. There are times when I do slip and it happens every day, especially in very close interactions. When I'm interacting with someone who is outside the family, immediate family, I'm able to observe my imagination, observe the feelings, Without a reaction, I can refer to my natural acceptance much more easily. But with those with whom I'm interacting, every moment, most of the times the day, especially from 23 onwards, I left the college. And from 23 onwards, I was trying to spend more time with myself to explore things, I could see that in my immediate family members, there are times when I slip more often, which was earlier, this observation was missing from me because when we are working, we, we come back home in the evening, we have lots of things to do and we are engaged in those things. So that observation part was only for very little durations. But now that I could take out more time for myself, I could see that this step one, two, three, and four of exercise one, where I was trying to observe who is deciding this feeling, I could make out that it is I who is taking all the decisions, but there are lots of my own set of sanskars which are giving that impulsive kind of a reaction within me, which earlier 
I was finding difficult to take a note because probably I was not able to spare that much of time. Maybe I was only able to make those observations at superficial level. So this exercise one and exercise two started intensifying more and more when I slightly slowed down myself and started making these observations more often for longer durations. What, what I could feel is that now I, I don't need to spare separate times. That is what I find that I'm able to make this observation within myself without sparing separate times for it. I can do things side by side and still I can continue observing my own state. I can see what is naturally acceptable to me and I can see this state of harmony whenever I am able to ensure the right feeling. And I can make observation of these deep-rooted sanskars within me, something which probably was missing earlier, only the dominant sanskars which I could make observation initially with these last two times, that is batch 9, batch 10, what I could find for myself was that now my observation is becoming more fine, more sharp for myself. And I could see, especially just to mention as an example, what I could make out was that with mummy that is my mother-in-law uh, earlier when I used to come back from college the, the interaction durations were lesser and I could always feel that things are very right in the sense that we could ensure the right feelings within us, mommy would say something and I would agree or something like that. Everything appeared very, very much in support. And therefore, I could see that I can ensure the right feeling for each and every relationship, be it my own children, be it mommy be it my husband and all that. Because at that time, the interactions were comparatively lesser. But now that I'm available full time and mommy is growing older and older, now that she's 85 plus, her own habits are slowly getting changed because of the age factor her irritations over little things. And I could observe that I have this deep-rooted sanskar within me where the moment something comes from that side, this little irritation comes within me, even though it will not come in any kind of external expression at all. But this this irritation because I could see that she's very instructional for every little thing she'll get give n number of instructions and I could observe this sanskar within me that the moment somebody starts giving instructions this kind of opposition I could start 
feeling within me. And then I could ask myself, what is naturally acceptable to me? And that's where this role of observing the imagination without any reaction, I could relate why this step one of exercise one is so important. Because I could immediately be driven by some reaction, even though for very small time. But it happened. And it is happening now also. But now I can see that this exercise is helping me to reduce the number of such instances. Which means that earlier, if it would be happening 20 times a day, now I could see that shift within myself. And that is what I find how this exercise one where I'm observing myself is helping me. But this journey is a long way. I am working on myself. That is what I can see for myself. I can look at my own assumptions. I can see that so many times I do get carried away by this reaction, by this conditioning, by my own set of sanskars. And this observation is helping me in slowly diluting that deep-rooted sanskar. And, and I know with time, maybe I'm able to see even more sanskars, which right now I'm not able to observe. So this is an ongoing process within me and I am trying to continue it for myself so that I can have this feeling of relationship, this feeling of harmony within me every moment. Because when I'm filled with this feeling, this is what I want. That is something I can see. That this is the state which I want for myself. Moving on to exercise two. This exercise two where we try to observe the interaction with the body. So with the first time, we start with this proposal that a human being is a coexistence of the self and the body. It starts at the level of thoughts that I am not just the body. But to observe that the body is separate from the self requires a lot of effort. That is what I could see. Exercise one, observing the self by the self appeared a bit easier. But observing those transactions, that could only happen for much shorter durations. So when, when I was focusing this exercise too, with each and every step, required 
more focus that's what i could see for myself that i'm able to observe my imagination for much longer times but for observing these sensations seeing the information being received by the self and the instructions being given to the body required more concentration more more effort from my end so for the very first time when i was introduced to exercise 2 now that i reflect back probably i could not progress i i was not able to actually take forward my journey as far as exercise 2 was concerned because most of the times i could find myself being driven by sensation but it require more practice that is what i could see and with every new batch i could see these steps getting more clear for myself so i'm working on this that is what i can see now that i am able to make out that i am not the sensation and i am reading the sensation which is happening so those little experiments that we do with ourselves right for example while while sitting we we do these little exercises for ourselves so we try to read the sensation and try to see that the sensation is not me i am different from the sensation and this body is helping me to interact with everything outside and coming to this step 6a i could see that the set of sanskars that i have are so deep that most of the times i am reacting because there are lots and lots of assumptions within me so for example this i could make this observation i i, I was very afraid of dogs and i could see that if i see if i'm walking on a road and i can if i see a dog walking on the road i could see a whole lot of shift within my own way of walking as soon as i get a sight of the dog coming from the other side and i could see that a reaction happening very quickly within me earlier that reaction could express outside now that external expression is not there but yet i could see that fear that reaction coming within me 
and that's where i could see that there are lots and lots of sanskars which are working in me on the basis of lots and lots of assumptions that i have accumulated for myself and i keep giving so many instructions to the body without realizing that these instructions are not needed that's where i could draw my attention while doing exercise 2 in batch 9 and batch 10 and i could see that this feeling within me is based on something external which means that there is this reaction that is happening so when when we are able to see this interconnectedness this four four relatedness with each and every unit when we understand this relationship that is where this shift within our own set of sanskars starts initiating and that is what i could make for myself that when i am not able to see this inherent relationship at each and every level of our being i am filled with fears but when i understand this inherent design of this existence when i start trying to understand it i start working on my sanskars even unknowingly also so in fact i started relating it to day 1 when i first got these proposals and i could where my vision was extended to the extent that i could start at least at the level of thoughts i could start the process of looking at this inherent design and what i could feel for myself was that there is no shortcut to this journey that is what i can make for myself this journey is a step by step process and it requires effort this effort needs to be continued every moment now this commitment within myself to continue with the effort i'm trying to strengthen it so that i can work on myself every moment that is what i look forward to my current state is not that i am working every moment i try and i slip but now i can take a note of most of the times when i slip sometimes immediately and sometimes after some time 
i'm able to make out this slipping happening within me where i am not aware of what is going on within me what is going on at the level of this self body interaction so there are times when i am being carried by the sensations coming from the body especially sometimes with with headaches with with some some health issue i could see that there are times when i get carried away but with more and more practice what i'm seeing for myself is that now i can read the sensation with more clarity i can see the difference this sensation is an information coming to me giving an idea of the state of the body or the surroundings and whatever my own assumption is i can observe that assumption also that it is this assumption which is giving me this reaction when it is happening in me and if i am able to ensure the understanding if i am able to ensure the clarity of this interdependence there is no question of reaction at that moment then that is what i have started observing for myself whatever time i am able to put in for myself i am trying to work on step 6a 6b of exercise 2 probably as far as this looking at the space is concerned i i find myself to be right now not in that capacity so i i try to work up to step 6a 6b and try to ensure it for longer durations for myself and i'm working on it i know that it is an ongoing journey for me but i can see that with more and more effort i am slowly becoming more and more clear of these steps and the duration for which i can do throughout the day is also slowly increasing for me but but yet there are times when i do slip every day but yes staying with the proposals sharing the content helps me a lot every time i am discussing i am sharing the content i start getting something or the other with more clarity for myself and happiness that state of harmony is something which is very much innate i am able to observe this for more and more time now and the whole program i'm trying to work on myself so that i can be in this state for more and more time and this comes with more and more participation also so i'm trying to ensure more and more participation from my end because participation is helping me in strengthening this process so 
whatever time I'm able to take out with whatever set of responsibilities I have, I can see an extension of my family start working on myself. I'm trying to enhance my participation for team development, whatever is possible from my end. I'm trying, I'm working towards it and I hope to continue it the way I'm trying to do it. So uh, maybe with this, Baya, I, I would like to stop the sharing. Thank you so much for yeah this uh, candid sharing, detailing your uh, experience in each and every step of these exercises one and two. Now we uh, quickly go to the questions of our colleagues for us. If there are some questions to Vanchana Didi, you can ask the questions. Your appreciation part can be placed in the chat box. I have a small query to know from you that the what exactly you are doing when you are thinking that you are now not spending time specially for having the feeling of running your imagination every moment. So you have no special time for it every time you are doing it. And while doing it, what exactly you do, what is exactly your feeling, if you can share, I think uh, myself and many others, they can be benefited. Thank you. This was my small query. Jipaya, I, I am I'm trying to be observant every moment, which means that I, I, I keep reminding myself of this state of awareness. There are times when I miss it also. But what I see is that this duration is increasing slowly for me every time. That is what I can observe. Not that I am aware every moment. But what I can see is this long association of these seven years is helping me to slowly raise that duration. So I was just trying to put that it is an ongoing journey. And I can see that I cannot fasten it in any way. So this decision that I take for myself. So I, I find very suitable time when I am going to bed in the night where I start making those observations even more focused and what I find is that it continues when I get up also because we start with this morning session so this morning session is helping each one of us a lot so the moment we get up we are again with this decision that we have to observe ourselves. We have to be aware of our own state. And that's why I'm saying that with this 10th batch, this whole process has strengthened for me. So, of course, each one of us is taking that decision for ourselves only. The more we are able to stick to that decision is helping each one of us. And that is what I would like to say Baya, regarding this. Yeah, yeah. Your, yes, I appreciate one, your uh, practice that while going to sleep, uh, you, um, you have your imagination. And uh, yes, the benefit is that it will continue. Whatever the last thought will be, that will be continued the whole night. Even if you sleep, the self will go on. Uh, uh, just uh, re reminding itself. So I think it is very helpful. And uh, yes, and all the best wishes and good luck. You can proceed further and help others also. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you all.
so I know Vanchima ji since last many years, even when she attended her first workshop. And many times we used to sit together and discuss all this content. And since then, uh, I have seen <coughs> many changes in Vanchima ji as she is sharing that her attention on her consciousness is increasing day by day. So is deeply involved in this exercise, all these steps, day and night. And due to this USP program, she is also able to manage his family and his her own sanskar also. So I can sense from her sharing that she is able to uh, do all these steps most of the time. Right? This day or not, but most of the time she is able to pay attention on her consciousness. And she is trying to see her consciousness step by step. And she said, as she shared, that many transformations she is able to yeah. in, in herself. So it is good to see that you are doing all the day na, each step and able to feel many changes in your sanskar, in your behavior. So very nice sharing, Didi. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Namaste, everyone. Very nice sharing by Vanchana Didi. I have been closely interacting with Panchana Didi once the online workshop started. And I can see the transformation in her sharing the content. And also whenever I have interacted with her, when we have met face to face, I can see the seriousness, the consistency and the perseverance in her. And now that she has made herself available full time, she is also investing most of the time understanding and living. Uh, as per the proposals being put forward and she has been taking care of the family very well and gradually she is owning more and more responsibilities also and I see a lot of possibility in her so my best wishes to Didi for her further exploration and development Thank you Bill. Didi very nicely explained your journey a small question arises again, as usual. Um, Didi, during these exercises and this, uh, your example uh, quoting, uh, uh, Miss, can you see the glimpses of this pure observer? Because from your example of the dog which you have given, and uh, so it is somewhat, um, uh, uh, Miss, I want to know more. Miss, ca um, can a person or can a person like me uh, can see uh, the glimpse of the pure observer throughout the day? while making these observations. Please, Didi, elaborate on this point. Thank you. Ji, Bhaiya, um, what I could observe is that whenever we are responding, Ji. at that point, we are touching upon that state Ji. of pure observer because else we end up reacting. That reaction can be... Um, it can be in accordance with the situation also, which means which is acceptable to all. But again, a reaction is a reaction. So when I'm able to see that whether it is positive or negative, it is a reaction. And if I can see that this is the response, Gee. that response is an indicator of this state that we are able to refer to it Gee. so the pure observer state is when there is this response now how long we are able to ensure it that requires this whole effort mm -hmm. so so the journey will ensure that 
state being continued for longer durations. So now what we can observe for ourselves in terms of these little shifts is that the more duration we are able to be in that state where we are responding is an indicator of this shift within us from uh, being governed by this lower domain to this being governed by the higher state. But actually differentiating that whether it is contemplation, whether it is understanding, that fineness probably I, I don't have right now. So whenever we are finding relations with the other, almost time we are or I am in the state of pure observer. If uh, there is a development of the opposition by any reason, then I am slipped from that position. Is it, Didi? No, we are. Uh, there are times with our own relations, we might be filled with affection. But yeah. is this feeling coming out of understanding or is it based on my own assumption of this relationship because it's my own child like that? Yeah. We have to differentiate that. Okay. Okay. Didi, didi, thank you. Thanks a lot. Namaste, Sabiko. Dhaniwad. Uh, very nice and uh, uh, clarity in sharing uh, in your observations. Uh, I would like to uh, just have uh, some understanding from your sharing uh, regarding the samskars you elaborated a lot. And do you find any uh, samskars which are still bothering you uh, still today and which uh, you are unable to come out from that uh, even though you practice a lot of these exercises and all those. Gee, Bea, in fact, there are many sanskars. In fact, this observation of sanskar in itself is only possible because of these steps that we are taking. Otherwise, probably I would not have been able to reach up to those. And there are so many hidden sanskars which probably I am not aware at this moment and they might erupt at some point of time. I, I don't know. But this observation of the sanskar is only possible with those steps that we are able to take. Otherwise, we don't even are in a position to pay any attention to it. Now that we are paying attention to ourselves, we are able to see what are the assumptions which are underlying these feelings that are coming to me. And therefore, we are able to refer to it. So yeah. it is coming with all this effort, Bhaiya. Otherwise, probably uh, some years back, if I say I was not aware of that, that's going on within me at all. Yes. So, uh, uh, continuously practice of these exercises, uh, make us understand the samskars which are playing a dominant role and we always try to come out from that. Am I correct, Didi? You have understood. Ji, ji bhaiya, just to, just to give example, um, my, my children say that I have changed a lot over the years. This is what is their observation. But they say, uh, Mama, you have changed by 90. Which means that my external reactions have reduced by 90% with them. That is what I could make out. But yes. if I look at myself, yes. the internal reactions are indicators of those deep-rooted sanskars, yes. which I need to work on, Bhaiya. So maybe the external reactions have changed and the others can take a note of it. But when we observe, we are able to see those what is going on within us even though we may not be expressing outside yes very nice observation clarity and understanding uh, thank you didi thank you it's a nice sharing
Very nice person. to hear your sharing today. I mean, I have also been um, yeah, associating with Vanchana Ji from the time that we were doing the online work. And I recall one thing that when we had to work on the the SIP um, uh, content was freshly made and the task was to get familiar with that content and then um, you know uh, share that content in the student induction program that was starting and so we were as a group getting together and trying to go through the content and then uh, doing a short summary of whatever we had read about it in a group and i recall that you know uh, every time every week when we would meet to share that content um, out of all the participants if i had to ask anybody you know if we can uh, some of the content we would all have it as homework to do it but when i would ask you know if we can share that it was basically vanchana ji who always came forward who had always read the content who was always ready with putting it forward and i think from there i could see uh, the integrity with which she works, her work ethic, her commitment, and it has shown through throughout in so many years that we are seeing. You are all familiar with her because of the workshops and putting forward the content. But behind that, there is a lot of hard work. And all this hard work, along with maintaining, you know, um, the work that she does at her college, that work, her relationships at home, her responsibilities at home. So I think that's very, very creditable. And I can also see the growth in her sharing. All the very best to you, Vanchana Ji. Very nice. Thank you, Didi.